It has been a dramatic day of late goals in the World Cup's round of 16. The Netherlands and Costa Rica have advanced. Mexico dominated the Netherlands, and for a moment it looked like they were going to win. But a late goal in the final minutes tied the game, then a foul against the Netherlands gave them a free kick on the final seconds. They scored and knocked out Mexico with a 2-1 win. Costa Rica played Greece, as was up 1-0, but a late goal in the 90th minute tied that game. In the end, it all came down to penalty kicks. Greece missed, and Costa Rica goes on. The final score, 5-3. We have team coverage with our correspondents in Rio and Mexico. Let's start in Rio, where Joel Richards has the latest on the Greece-Costa Rica match. Hi there, Joel. Well, good evening, and an another fantastic day of football. Really, at this stage now, I think we have to start talking about this World Cup as one of the greatest of all time, just for sheer drama and excitement and, and action on the pitch. As you mentioned, today's game, so we've got two more quarter finalists. So that quarter final will be Holland against Costa Rica. Holland aside, who were expected to go and are indeed expected to go very far in this tournament. But Costa Rica, of course, nobody imagined them even qualifying from their group, let alone reaching a historic first ever quarter final. Their, their game uh, went to penalties. Uh, the, the goalkeeper, Kayla Navis, the, very much the hero of the hour there with the crucial penalty save. And, uh, and that taking the, the Ticos then through for that uh, quarter final clash with Holland. But, uh, but obviously the Dutch also left it late. Um, they were 1-0 down to Mexico and really could have been even further down. But uh, a late goal from uh, equaliser from Wesley Snyder, uh, giving uh, them, pulling them back level. And then obviously a, a dramatic penalty, which, uh, which would be interesting to hear now what Frank has to tell us from Mexico, because there's a lot of controversy around the awarding of that penalty. That's right, Frank. Uh, no fun being with the losers, but how are they reacting? Well, fans here are absolutely disappointed. And of course, they know the Mexican coach himself is outraged, uh, Susan. Miguel Herrera says that the forward from the Netherlands, uh, Arjen uh, Robin allegedly took a dive, and, and the Mexican coach believes that it, he did it on purpose and at least three different times during the match. And of course, the last one led to the penalty kick that you mentioned that took place in the overtime. That penalty kick is what gave the Netherlands the victory, of course. And so um, we know that the, the forward for the Netherlands, Mr. Robbins, did step forward and apologize for taking at least one dive. He said that happened in the first half of the game, and that, of course, did not affect the score, he believes. But, but here in Mexico, people are shaking their heads. They can't believe it took place. The Mexican coach, again, pointing the finger, calling essentially the forward of, of Netherlands a cheat, and uh, also suggesting that perhaps the FIFA itself did not do a very good job of selecting referees for this game. And so Mexico looking for reasons to explain how it ended up losing this dramatic game against the Netherlands, which, of course, will advance to the quarter, the quarterfinal rounds, Susan. All righty, Frank Contreras. All right, well, Frank, now we're going to go back to Joel Richards, and he's going to tell us what's going to happen next. Joel. Thanks, Susan. Well, uh, this is just uh, non-stop, really. Two more days of court of uh, last 16 matches then still to play. Uh, tomorrow, one of the favorites to do very well in this tournament, Germany. Uh, they take on Algeria, and what's being dubbed as something of a, of a grudge match in 1982, uh, Germany, West Germany at the time, and Austria played out a draw that left Algeria out of the side. This is the first time Algeria have made it to the knockout phase, so they'll very much be up for that game. But then earlier, the first match sees France taking on Nigeria. So the two African sides left in the competition then uh, against two very strong European sides tomorrow. Tough call for them, but uh, as we've seen today, uh, upsets are very much on the, uh, on the menu at this World Cup. So let's see if, they, if that continues tomorrow. We will. Joel Richards, thank you so much for that report. And Frank Contreras in Mexico City, we appreciate it, both of you.